Yo what up YouTube, it's Bryce doing episode 28 of Low Gravity High Value and today's card is going to be Chain Disappearance. Uh, Chain Disappearance has been printed twice in Low Rarity as a rare in Invasion of Chaos like this one and also in Dark Revelation 2. Uh, the price difference uh, right now Invasion of Chaos ones are roughly five for the absolute lowest uh, to around six dollars on average and then the Dark Revelation ones are like 6 absolute lowest or all the way up to 10 on average. I don't know why, but I guess Dark Revelation is just a rarer, a rarer pack. There's like 200 cards in that set, so it would be harder to pull them from there. But anyway, uh, these, this used to be like a $15 rare last format. And I'm just going to talk about basically why the price went down so much. Uh, obviously, it got printed as a super rare in... Turbo Pack 6, which led to the price going down. And also the playability has just decreased. I mean, it still hits a lot of stuff, but it used to hit even more, and I'm just gonna get into that. Uh, what it used to hit is when X-Sabers were actually good, it could hit either their Pashul or their Dark Soul, and that would just be good. That's not really why this card was good, but that was just another thing you could side it in against, which made it that much more versatile. Uh, it could also hit their Raikou or their Lumina if you played Light Swarm. Or it could hit Plants Ryko, because Plants actually used to use Ryko to mill. Now Plants don't even need to mill anymore, which is why they're so good. Uh, it used to be able to hit Swap Frog and Treeborn Frog, but now Frogs are completely fine if you remove their stuff. They just uh, summon Sea Lancer, and they return it back to the field, and they're good. So this is not as good against Frogs anymore at all. Uh, when people used to play Dragoonity a little right after they came out, uh, this could hit Phalanx and Ackles and pretty much cripple the deck to not working. Then, of course, the main reason this card was a $15 rare was because it stopped six samurai so well. You just set this, they'd go Kageki into Kagamusha, you'd chain disappearance on their Kagamusha and just be like, I'm sorry, sir, but good game. Like, they couldn't really do anything if they didn't have a tuner. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it still hits Raikou and Lumina if you play Light Sworn, but, uh, yeah, whatever. It kind of hits Tour Guide, like, they can still get their Sangan out, but it's still good to hit their Tour Guide with this. Uh, it hits Glow Up, Spore, and Dandy, and Debris, so it's decent against plants. Uh, it also, it hits Sangan itself, obviously. It hits, uh, Earth when you play Agents, and it hits their Shine Balls, so it can be decent against Agents. Then if you run up against Karakuris, it hits their uh, Nanishi and their Strategists, which are two tuners, the 1900 Defense one, and the one that uh, they can use to switch a battle position just for their loop. So that's good against them too. So it's still good against a lot of decks, but just uh, basically 6 Sams made the card $15. The ban list made it 10 because it's still good against a lot of decks. And then the Super Reprint... Made it 5, so that's where we are right now. It's still a decent card, not quite what it was, but it still hits a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah, if you guys have these, just obviously be aware that it's like a $5 rare still. And if you haven't gone through your stuff in a long time, and you have stuff way back from Invasion of Chaos in, like, 2002, uh, this is just a rare, but it's like 5 bucks, guys. So just be aware as always, and peace, guys.